all about. short and very exciting life which covered a period of six years and it's about the people who who were who were who were his team so to speak I think that you want to know about these people I try and bring them to life it, I try and unfurl a lot of the mythology associated with Farlap even though in a weird kind of way I make up a lot of my own as well I, I just knew it was a winner I just I was just sitting at my desk and it just came into my head and just something told me that it was a winner. Even like from, from the very beginning, you know, there's this idea that he was a horse that came from nowhere, that he was a freak of nature. And, and although while I do think he was a freak of nature, he was superbly well bred. I must say I'm a little bit hooked on the non-fiction into fiction thing now. He was killed by the mafia and, and poison feed and somebody tried to get him. The horse died of a type of... Um, colic. You know, my, both my grandfathers were mad racehorse men. My mother show jumped and hunted and eventually that's what basically killed her. Um, and, you know, I used to event and just, you know, and it, it is actually really a commercially viable book. I mean, I've never written anything that's commercial before, but it still hasn't, but it hasn't compromised the way it was written, you know. It, it, it's not a one note love story or something like that. I've tried to still make the writing beautiful and bring it to life. Yeah, it was a horse thing. I thought, well, how could it possibly lose because it has such a wide readership. Um, people love those horse stories. And <laughs>